welcome uh, to the tally adjustment that we want to do as per the new rates that the government has introduced. But before I move on, I indicated on the page that there wouldn't be much changes in the configuration. So let's go. You go to features, uh, statutory and taxations. You enable the VAT. You set this place to yes. You hit on enter. You come to set author and tax details. You set this place to yes. Now, you put the tax rate to, to be 12.5%. That is in relation to VAT. And then when it comes to NHIL, you put 12.5% over here. Then automatically, once you hit on enter, once you hit on enter, this place will change to, to be taxable. You hit on enter again, then you can save it. So once you are done with the activation from uh, from this side you hit on escape key you come to transactions to make a sale because already uh, you have activated the you have created the VAT and then get fund and national health insurance that's NHIL ledgers already but we can also go there to refresh ourselves on that so at account info at account info, you come to ledgers um, alter. So you select the first one, get fund, and you see the get fund at 2.5% is at duties and taxes. When you get to the type of duty and taxes, NHIL, since both of them are using the same tax rate 2.5, so you select NHIL for get fund. Then percentage of calculation, you select 2.5. Okay, so you type the 2.5 for this and then you can hit on enter, enter and save it. Now you can also go to the NHIL here to select duties and taxes. Ta uh, type of duty or tax you select NHIL and then you type in the 2.5% as the rate. Hit on enter, enter and then you save it. Now when you come to the VAT at 12.5%, what you do is that you still maintain it at duties and taxes. And once you get to type of duty and taxes, you select VAT, you hit on enter, enter, and then you type the 12.5% at the percentage of calculation. You hit on enter, enter, and then you save it. Now you can see that we did not do any massive change concerning the old ledgers that we have created all right so let's go back and then see how we're going to make our sales so now you come to transactions okay so at transactions you come to f8 you select your sales and you key in your date let's say we are using 1st september 2018 select ABC company limited as your customer and then um, we are making a cash sale so you select here you type taxable all right then you select your item so let's say I'm selling cotton wool of uh, from my warehouse um, Let's say I have 100 at 50. That is going to give me 5,000. I hit on enter again. Then I select another item button. And I'll take it from my main warehouse. The quantity is also, let's say, 150. So now I have selected all my items. Now this is the summation line. You have to make sure that once you are done selecting the items that you are supposed to sell, make sure that this summation line comes for you to see the total of the items that you have entered. You hit on enter, enter again. Once you see this summation line above, then you can add your VAT. So first of all, you select your 
NHIL automatically to calculate the 2.5 on the 10,000. You hit on enter again and you select your get fund. That one to automatically calculate on the 10,000 Ghana cities that you have above. The next is for you to select the VAT, but VAT will pick on, will do the calculation on 10,000, but that is not what we want now. So the most important thing is that just look at the total that you have down here. That is 10,500. That is what you'll be using to do the calculation for the VAT. So once you select VAT like this, automatically it will calculate on a 10,000. While it's blinking or it's active like this, we don't need this 1,250 as VAT, but rather we have to calculate the VAT on the 1,500, 10,500. All right, so we just click on Alt C. Automatically, the system will bring you to this calculator side. Then you can type in your value, let's say 10,500 by 12.5 percent. This is at 10,500 multiplied by the VAT rate. Then you hit on enter. Automatically, it will do the calculation for you and the VAT rates will change from 1,250 to 1,312 Ghana cities, 50 pesos. This is the original and correct VAT that we are looking for. So once you are done this way, hit on enter, enter, put your narration, let's say sales. And then you save it. That's all. All right. So if you are also doing accounting invoice, you just change it from as voucher to accounting invoice, then you can follow the same procedure to actually know how to do the calculation for your uh, for your company. I think that will be all for now.